sub YouTube, we're gonna bring another battle because I had a battle before this, but uh, my rival decided to run away. So okay, we're gonna st we're gonna use the same same team that I used in the last battle when my rival decided to run run away. So confirm. I'm gonna confirm. I'm gonna check the team, and he doesn't have Mewtwo, so that's really good. That's the second time that I don't see a Mewtwo, so that means that I'm going to use my Masham. I'm gonna start with my Masham. Gengar will be my Mega, and that's it. I still have Butterfree ready there. I might use my Butterfree for later. Hopefully Butterfree can, can do some good. So I will start with my match I'm here. And next I have a sad. Okay. At least I know that he doesn't have the Mewtwo, so that's really good. And this is the second time that I, I don't see a Mewtwo. The other battle that I was having it was good too, but he, man, he decided to run the battle. Okay, I will use... I'm gonna go for the earthquake. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the earthquake. I don't wanna do anything stupid because I know he cannot KO my Pokemon. He's gonna Mega Evolve. He doesn't have U-turn, I think so, on this. I don't think he has U-turn on this. Oh, actually, he will have U-turn. So it's not super effective. I know, at least I know it's not super effective against my Pokemon. Uh, because I'm a fighting type. But at least I went for my Earthquake just in case the he was gonna make a switch. There is some move that they actually. Oh shit! Okay, he predicted the earthquake. That's good. So that means I'm gonna go for the uh, ball cap, just in case, so I can uh, raise my attack and my defense. And well, hopefully I don't know what's going on right here, right now. Maybe he's gonna make another switch. Maybe he's gonna predict that I'm gonna I'm make an, a double switch, but actually I'm just going to stay. If he, I think he has a wedge or dragon claw or something like that, but I don't think he can KO my Masham. I know my Masham can resist a a attack from Dragonite, so let's see what's going on right now. Okay, I'm still waiting. He's gonna go for the earthquake, which is not okay. I'm able to. To survive the attack. Okay, I'm um, plus one now. So I'm gonna go for facade. Let's go for facade because I can go. I mean, I don't have rock slide, so he might be. He might uh, make a make a switch. Maybe he's gonna make a switch. I don't think he's gonna sacrifice his. Uh, his dragon eye because it's too soon to do that. Okay, let's see what he's gonna do now because well, usually I like my battle being a little bit fast. He's gonna go for the earthquake. I was <laughs> I'm able to survive the attack. Okay, you almost half. I'm gonna do facade one more time. I'm just gonna do, to do all the damage that I can against this Pokemon. Okay, Earthquake actually gets to, gets to kill my Pokemon. Okay, so that means... Uh, I will use my... I'm gonna use my Tauros. Okay, so he has picture did remark star me. So I'm gonna go for the 
I'm gonna go for the double edge. Just in, you know what? I'm gonna go for Vassal because I know I can survive attack. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Vassal just in case because I know my Pokemon. I think my Tauros outbeat most of most of his Pokemon, and he has Nidoki in there. So Nidoki, he's gonna make a switch. It's a good thing that I make a switch. I mean, it's a good thing that I went for Vassal. So let's see what Fasa is gonna do. How much damage it's going to do? It's almost okay. I think I can KO this Pokemon with double edge. Let's see what's going. On. Let's see what happens. Okay, he's gonna go for the Ice Beam. He actually gets to outspeed my Pokemon, but the damage is not that great. So I try. I I was able to uh, KO this Pokemon with the double edge and he still have bit drill in the pack the mega bit drill mega bit drill i think can kill my pokemon yeah, yes he's gonna send mega bit drill so i still need my pokemon so i will go for my, I think I'm gonna go for my metal because I still need my turtles for later. <laughs> it's not very effective, so I'm gonna go for the earthquake. Okay, he actually sent a... Okay, that's a really nice prediction. He was... A... Maybe he was predicting that, but... I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch. Why he goes toxic against my metal? metal? I'm metal type. And I'm gonna freeze this Pokemon. So I will use one more time the Ice Punch and I can KO this Pokemon. Oh, actually, he, oh my god, he actually uh, defrosts right away, throw up right away. Okay, that was, so te technically the hack didn't matter, because he was, he actually outsped my Pokemon in the first turn. Okay. So I went for the Ice Punch. Ice Punch is gonna uh, triple KO this Pokemon. It's like a, it's four times effective against this Pokemon. So Ice Punch is more than effective. More is more than enough to KO the Dragonite with just one attack. I don't know why he sent Dragonite there. Dragonite could do so much damage against my team. Let's see what he's gonna use now. Okay, he is gonna use Mary Nero King. Yeah, he actually gonna say Nero King. Okay, I'm gonna predict that he's gonna send a earthquake. So that means I'm gonna go for my butterfree. I'm gonna go for the butterfree. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sacrifice my butterfree. It doesn't affect my Pokemon, so that means I'm gonna go for the Quiver Dance. Oof, so that means Fire Punch is gonna KO. Oof, it doesn't KO my Pokemon. I am able to survive the attack. Okay, um, I was able to survive the attack. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't have Sleep Powder. So I'm gonna go for the air slash. Okay, at least I at least I did some good damage against this Pokemon. 
So now I'm gonna say my Taurus. Okay, I think I wanna outspeed this Pokemon. So I will go for the for the double edge just in case. I know he might be yeah or no, alright, let me see. Am I able to kill? Yep, I'm able to kill this Pokemon. I received some damage. My throw is still right there, still it's doing some good. It's it's doing really good my throws right there. Okay, he's gonna send the... Okay, let's see what Pokemon... Okay, he still have Nero King, Mark, Starving... He still has... Okay, so... I'm gonna send my... Melmero. Yeah, I'm gonna send my Melmero right there. Actually, he doesn't have Starmin there anymore. No, actually, he doesn't have Starmin. Okay. Damage is not that great against my Pokemon. So, and he still have Mark. So, and he still have Pidgeot. So, that means I'm gonna go for the Rock Slide. Because it's super effective against that Pokemon. And he's in. If he actually sends uh, the uh, the Pidgeot, Rock Slide is gonna be super effective against that Pokemon. Pidgeot is doing, doing really good right here. It's causing me some troubles. So. Yeah, I'm able to kill this Pokemon. So I don't know if he was predict maybe he was predicting an ice point, maybe an earthquake. But this time it was like no way Jose. This time I'm gonna go for the rock type because it's super effective against most of his Pokemon. And Okay. He might be able to Okay, I'm gonna go for the Rock Slide one more time because it's super effective. He might go for the U-turn again. I don't know. So pretty much, Melmero is like my uh, is like I don't know, like Metagross. Okay, so I'm gonna save my Melmero just in case. So I will use my Snorlax. Yes, I'm gonna send my I'm gonna call my Melmero because uh Drill Run, Drill Run did some good damage against my Pokemon. He goes for the foul play. It's a good thing that I make some. Sw um, I did some. I did actually. I switch. So I'll go for the earthquake because it's super effective. In in rocks, I did some good damage against that Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna go for the earthquake. Oof. Not gonna be, it's not gonna be enough to KO. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the Borisla. She goes to the foul play. It's a critical hit. It doesn't matter at all because now I'm gonna send my Tross. Okay, I'm gonna send my Tross. He might win the battle yet because he's not inside yet. 
so I'm gonna go for the double edge just in case because I want I want to like in case he actually makes a switch I'm gonna go for the double edge okay let's see now okay the bar is getting really close right here now because I still not sure if I can win the battle because Bidrill, Mega Bidrill is doing some is doing a lot here so I'm gonna go for the double edge just in case yeah I'm gonna go for the double edge let's see what happens next he goes for the drill run then he was uh, predicting a switch and drill bone actually it caused a critical hit against my pokemon so hopefully i'm able to survive the attack of drill bone it doesn't cause any uh any co any critical hit so i'm gonna go for the rock slide Okay, come on. No matter, I know you can survive the attack. Ah, uh, it's gonna be Kiriko hit. Ah, uh, Kiriko hit. I knew. It. Oh my god. Okay, that means I lost pretty much. I lost the battle because the hacks actually gave me. Okay, but it's still though. It was a really good battle. I get to love this battle. Okay, now let's see now. I'm gonna make I bomb my Pokemon. And I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball. Might be able to survive, uh, able to outspeed this Pokemon. If he's Adamant, I might be able. Because I am timid. I don't know. My Mega Gengar. Okay, he's gonna. I, I was able to survive the attack. Hopefully I can get some critical hit, but it's not gonna happen. Actually, it's a critical hit! Critical hit gave me the win because he cost me a critical hit before. So critical hit is a, actually is a payback and I got to win the battle. That's usually clutch. Oh my god. Mega Gengar giving me the win so i hope you have enjoyed the battle because i actually i thought that i was gonna lose the battle because he gave me a critical hit and i knew i was gonna be, do some damage i knew i was gonna be able to survive the attack with uh with my metal metal but it was a critical hit and now mega gengar caused a critical hit and gave me the win so here's arcana 9 see you next time later and bye